I felt like this kind of and like I said at the beginning, like I appreciate the contemplation I got from this. I, that's what I took it as. But also the, the vibes that I got, the, the energy, the feelings that arose within me. It, it so it felt like it was taking away from uh, the most important thing essentially in, in in my perspective which is that we are already everything we don't need to wait on any kind of cycle or any kind of alignment or any kind of event. The event is always happening within within us. We are the event. Experience this for yourself. Don't take anyone's word for anything. Like you are the only proof that you need for anything is you. You are the tester and the observer, the experiencer, the creator. You have everything you need already to find out the truth, discern the truth, feel the truth. This is Words can only get you so far, and the best that words can do is inspire pure, heartfelt feelings and encourage that inspiration and feeling of hope and unity and love and truth. This is the best that we can get from words. And sure, like, obviously, you know, through words, through this taught way of communicating, this degraded way of communication, we can learn many things and uh, ha learn many useful skills, obviously. But the more inner work you will do, or you will find that so much has already been provided to us. A lot of these skills and learned techniques and ways to go about, say, surviving or living off the land and all this, I like that people are connecting back with the land and with nature, but we're still missing a major key point here, and it's that everything was already provided for us. It was already perfect. The imperfections came once we degraded ourselves into thinking a certain way into thinking that we had to dissect things and figure out the the, mechani the machinations of how it works instead of instead of simply being and creating and co-creating see once you once you allow the mind to go into the science field of dissection and and I'm not saying I'm saying, like, science, the scientism is, is what I meant to say. Because in this world of confusion, because of our language, it's, it's a dual uh, mentality here that we've been subjected to. And dual as in 
offer on this or that alive or dead but that's and if you if you go back into older older languages you will see that they don't have uh, words to represent anything like this they don't have any kind of a word that, that represents no or dead because that those things are not real So, um, yeah, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate all information I come across as potenti uh, as a potential for divine contemplation, as a potential for inspiration. I mean, and that's how we should be to each their own, obviously. And when I say should, I'm just it's a recommendation to allow things to inspire you. And if something is not inspiring you, well, maybe you should listen to that and find something that does inspire you. Encourages you to follow your path, the path that you feel is, is yours. Whatever that may be, whatever form it may take. So yeah, um, 2020, yeah, I mean, that's going to be a, uh, a magical time just because of where we're already headed. Like it, it's got to reach a point at some point in so-called time. So why not be at a certain point? point like 2020 but this is this is the exact same as uh, the Mayans in 2012 and the solar alignments and the event and everyone's gonna ascend and be enlightened So in my experience, I appreciate the concepts here. They are thought provoking and they allowed my mind to go into places of old stories, which is always beneficial if we can go back into the old ways, the true ways of our true past. But I don't agree with uh, this model. That's not to say I know any better or anything like that, or to say that for sure, you know, this is wrong. For sure we live on a globe. For sure the earth is flat. And it doesn't matter what I say. What matters is what people feel and what they experience for themselves. In my experience, the so-called barriers are in, only in your mind. And what you... The potential that you have accessed within the limitations that you succumb to, that you have agreed upon. I do I have experience with Okay, and say if they want to say 
that there is a barrier or dome or some kind of a uh, energetic field that protects or surrounds our plane or planet or whatever you want to say well in my experience things on the outside don't have a problem with coming here so I don't see why that would be any difference vice versa then And then also, he speaks zero on the astral body, which is very important to be able to utilize this to free yourself of even more limitations that you have been taught to believe in. Utilize your astral body, realize the places that you can go, but also the so-called time that you can go. Realize the playing field, the terrain that you inhabit whenever you are in the astral, and are able to discern the things that you are creating, say like in a dream state, or even in a very lucid dream state, or say like you believe that you are in an astral state, like you're going to go through periods where, at first especially, where you have to get the feel for it. It's like a unique taste almost, of whenever you are truly whatever term you want to use, out of body, astral, travel, or just lucid within a construct of your own imagining, which is kind of what we are all in, all the time anyways, coexisting within, that we can pop in and out of once we realize the access points, the keys, that we've always had, but we just, uh, we keep losing, we keep losing our keys. Isn't it so easy to misplace our keys? So yeah, uh, I guess that's about it. Um, I'm not saying, uh, <coughs> you know, don't check this person out. Or don't listen to this crap. <laughs> uh, no, like, take in as much as you want, as much as you can. Uh, utilize discernment. Listen to your feelings. Try to get clear on what those feelings are really uh, saying. It's perception that we have to get clear on. How we are perceiving our reality. So yeah, okay, uh, I guess I'll end it with this. This is the, why I feel that this is the, uh, the next level of the new age filter is that it is skipping the main thing, which is
our purpose, just how special we are. Already, we don't need to wait for anything, any kind of alignment. We don't need to have, we don't need to have any kind of special knowledge, any esoteric knowledge. No, 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 no. We're, we're, we are currently moving out of this, out of the age of esoteric into the age of clarity and truth, purity of the image. And that's already there within all of us. If you would like to engage this to feel this for yourself, the avenues I would recommend is spending time with yourself, as in being alone, um, learning to quiet the mind, still the body, experience for yourself what it means to access deeper levels of beingness and you can utilize certain medicines for this and they're going to have certain labels attached to them say drugs or say even poisons both of these are medicines there is only medicine there is only medicine and it's to what degree of potency is that medicine Obviously, you don't want to take a very potent medicine in abundance because then it's not going to be beneficial anymore. You're going to have a strong reaction to that and then freak out and say, oh, I've been poisoned. Perception. It's all about perception. So yeah, utilize medicines. Realize what true medicine really is. Realize what what true nutrition really is. Realize what transmutation is, what alchemization is, what you are, what the body does, just on its own. And the clarity is going to be more pronounced. The purity, the inspiration, inspire yourself. And I, I recommend going out in nature, going out to beautiful landscapes, feeling the interconnection of all life around you and how it's, there's purpose in every little thing there. Every little thing, there's a purpose for it. And everything is talking and is in communion. And we're supposed to be part of that. We were never meant to be separated from that. And, and, and truly, we we are we are we cannot ever be separated from that. But we can be taught to think that we are. We can be taught to live in boxes, to have a boxed mindset. We can be taught to attempt to disconnect ourselves from everything, from the communion of everything, of all life, all energy. Seek inspiration, seek clarity, seek, seek locations that are, are known, are renowned for its purity, its, I don't like that word, it's the, the living environment, the location, even the people, you, there's, there's certain locations and, and groups of people who are dedicated to truth and inspiration and purity and you can seek those people out and be healed in their modalities and their methods
find clear find clean water utilize your own waters breathe in the prana rich air of being in a pristine forest environment still your mind within this forest and reconnect with the living construct with the living web of life reconnect with that that's that's where i would recommend it.